Hi. So I'm back again with, I guess, another update about the coronavirus and me. But first, I gotta take this off. It, it uh, gets hot underneath the mask. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, uh, when I was editing my last video and uh, you know, almost finished with it, uh, I, I just took a, a little break and looked at my email uh, and saw that I had an email from my work and the, the subject of the email was possible exposure of COVID-19. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the email talked about how uh, I, they recently became aware that there was a possible exposure at my work. Yeah, so this is the second time that I have possibly been exposed to the coronavirus. And what did I just say in my last video? I still wish that these health scares would stop happening to me. <laughs> that would be great if they did. So yeah, the universe didn't listen to me. And I, I've got this new health scare to worry about. Uh, although this one, this doesn't seem as bad uh, because yeah, in the email they said the date of the possible exposure was two weeks ago and it was actually on the day that I didn't work so you know I I, I feel like I would not have got exposed on that date since I didn't work. And if, if I did get exposed uh, sh shortly after that, then uh, I would be in the, the, the clear since it, it, it happened uh, you know, almost exactly two weeks ago. So, yeah, yeah, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, but, but, uh, yeah, but anyway, I, I just decided uh, to take precautions and I, I went back to that uh, drive up or drive-through testing at the hospital that, that I went to the last time. Yeah, yeah, so second time going to that. And, and uh, the doctor I spoke to last time, doctor or nurse, I, I'm not sure, but, but he said that, uh, 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 yeah, I, I could come through the, the drive through a hundred times if I wanted. So I have 98 more times to go. <laughs> now, now I'm not gonna use it that many times because uh, the, the most recent time I did end up getting tested, uh, um, like the, the, healthcare worker I spoke to most recent times, uh, she, she said they'll just be safe and go ahead and test me. I think they're testing more people now because 
because I've I've been hearing more uh, 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 about um, possible exposures going on, you know, all over the, the state. So I I think that they're testing more people now. So, so yeah, and yeah, and that's where I, I got the mask. They, they, they just, you know, gave it out to everyone that they were testing, I think. And no, I'm not hoarding them. I, I just have the one. So, so yeah, I, I guess the hospital I went to is doing okay on supplies. Yeah, yeah, so so the, the way they tested me is they just like shoved a, a Q-tip, a really long Q-tip just up one of my nostrils and held it there for two or three seconds. And just before they did that, they said that it might make me sneeze, which yeah, I, I, I almost did, but I, I didn't. I think they had some ointment on the tip of the Q-tip. So I, I felt a little bit of a, well, uh, actually it was more than a little bit of a stinging uh, feeling inside my nose. So, but, but yeah, but yeah, other than that, it was fine, yeah painless and only took a couple seconds but the, the only bad news is that they said it would take four to ten days to get the results back and I, I mentioned that in my last video that the test results are taking a long time here uh, I did hear that there's a, a new type of test for the coronavirus that can get results in as little as 45 minutes, but uh, they have just started rolling it out, so it's, it's not available in, uh, everywhere. Now, they said that they're treating me as if I do have the virus, which, you know, at this point, everyone should be doing that. Uh, so yeah, yeah, they, they told me just to stay at home uh, and don't go any place at all. Uh, don't go any public place is at all uh, don't go to the store or uh, until I, I get my test results back uh, and then after I get my test results back um, still use caution when going out which actually that, that, that's what I've been doing before then I I, w I wasn't going very many places and I was taking precaution uh, yeah, and taking a little bottle of hand sanitizer with me everywhere. But yeah, yeah, so right now I, I don't have any of those symptoms. Uh, I, I feel fine, really. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's just weird. Because the possible exposure at my work happened two weeks ago, and that's what everyone is saying. Saying that uh, the inc incubation period of the virus is two weeks. So you know, it might be possible that I got the virus, didn't have any symptoms, and 
now it's gone and I'll never know if I had it. <sighs> yeah, and and uh, the my the email from my work didn't say if it was a customer or another employee who had tested positive. That uh, yeah, they they did say that a person had tested positive. Uh, you know, the my other possible exposure at the YMCA uh, said that the person uh, wasn't sure if they had uh, the virus. Uh, that their their results weren't back yet, and and I still don't know if they got it. But my work said that there was one person who had definitely tested positive. Uh, but they, they didn't say if it was a customer or an, an employee. I think they're just worried that the virus went from that one person to an employee and then they spread it to a bunch of other employees. I think that's what they're concerned about. Although it would be nice to know that if an employee did test positive, uh, what department they uh, worked in. Because if it's a department like, you know, like human resources or accounting, then my chances of, of getting it are extremely low because you know, I'm out working on the chairlifts. When I'm working outside, uh, uh, I, I have very little chance of getting it. And, and I'm actually wearing, wearing my, uh, you know, my winter, winter gloves. So yeah, so I'm even safer. But, but, you know, when I go into the lodge or, you know, uh, into my, uh, my building uh, for the lift operators, uh, yeah, we, we have our own locker room and, uh, uh, yeah, that, that, would be a great place to spread the virus. So, yeah, yeah. In, inside, I would be more at risk of getting the virus than outside. Yeah, but but yeah, they, they probably won't release any more details uh, about the person because of privacy concerns. Yeah, yeah, I just went through this and now I gotta go through it all, all, all over again, just worrying about it. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, and, and it is a little different than the Y situation because with the Y, it was just one person going in and uh, working out for like an hour or two and then leaving. But at my work, it's someone who's there probably all day for, if, yeah, if it's an employee then they were there for eight or nine hours working. And if it was a customer, they were up there for a few hours. People don't go to a ski resort just to use it for an hour and then go back home. They're, they're, they're up there for a while. So yeah, yeah, the exposure risk is bigger, but, uh, I don't know how great it would be. Yeah, yeah, and 
I don't know if I came in direct contact with this person or not. So, yeah. But uh, at least now, since I got the test, I will have a definitive answer as to whether or not I have the coronavirus right now. And yeah, in those two weeks, uh, I've, I've been over to my parents' house a lot. So, uh, hopefully I didn't expose them, but they said they're both doing fine and they, they've they also been isolating more and more and going out less and less. They're still trying to take our dog Lola out uh, for, for walks and exercise, but yeah, but they're, they're going to be, uh, isolated a lot too, just like me for the next two weeks. So yeah, but uh, yeah, ho hopefully I can get my test results back in, in less than a week. Yeah, uh, yeah, as soon as possible. That would be really great and then I, I can know for sure what to do. Uh, but yeah, but until then, it's just more isolation and quarantine and social distancing, which, which actually I, I just heard that uh, my mayor has signed an uh, executive order, I guess, where uh, uh, anyone who is outside is supposed to keep a minimum distance of six feet from any other person. Yeah, yeah, anyone who goes outside has to keep their distance and practice social distancing, which, which not a lot of people are outside. Yeah, it's it's been looking really empty when uh, ever I was outside the, this, this past week. So, so, yeah, I'm gonna be indoors as much as possible. So, so, yeah, I'm probably making more videos for YouTube. <laughs> so, yeah, so until the next uh, video I make, uh, whether it be about the coronavirus or not, but until then, goodbye.